Generic greetings and welcome back to Otome Chef where in the previous episode we did the calories insanity where we had to do a bit of a combo meal. It was the um, it was the dopamine combo which was a burger and fries together and we had some teething problems when it came to the dispensing of the fries but we did manage to fix it in the end. I think only a couple of tweaks and changes will be needed in order to get the other two stars but we're not going to worry too much about that. We're going to go instead for power hungry. So deliver 40 meals, keep electricity usage under 3,500 and use fewer than 240 ingredients. So let's just see what this one is. So we're going to make, ooh, it looks like to be a big stack burger and a BLT. So uh, this new collection for us, uh, we'll pay attention. Uh, right, okay. If we use too much electricity, we'll cause a blackout. Uh, bring the operation here to an end, so be careful and pay close attention to the energy usage. Uh, as we saw during the power usage experiment in the test site, we can take measures to reduce our overall energy usage here. I've been, uh, I've even managed to get some new machinery to reduce the overall footprint of our kitchens and make it more efficient. Oh, and I uh, also just heard the celebrity I never heard before was eating one of our BLTs. I expect the dish is particularly popular among the customers today. So it said it's got a new machine. I'm looking through it and I'm seeing oh a conveyor grill okay um, so conveyor grill says an awesome combination of a conveyor belt and a grill it automatically cooks everything that passes through it oh that's belt and that's absolutely amazing right okay so we need to do a BLT which we have done previously um, and then we also need to do uh, this uh, what's this a uh, beach burger um, so you need to grill everything that goes through it so the question is, do we want to use... No, we don't. I was about to say, do we want to combine them so just have one machine for all of the grilling? That would be... That would be an option. But I think we'll probably go for one each. So we're going to do our BLT, which requires uh, four dispensers. So let's start there. One, two, three, four. We do need an assembler. We'll need an order reader, at least one order reader anywhere. Um, we do need no grill anymore. And we'll need a couple of food processors, I think. Um, food processors, we need to... Actually, let me double check. We need to... Um, Slice the tomato and that's it, that's, that's fine. So from here we'll rotate these round and we will set it up to produce whatever we need. So from this one, well this will be dispensing some bacon strips. The one here will be dispensing some um, bread. Okay. Um, the fryer will go there. So we'll say conveyor belt there. And then that can go to there. We'll set that one over to the BLT. And we do need some robotic arm. Oh, robotic arm long now. So that is... Does it dispense really far? I'm guessing it does. Okay, fine. Uh, robotic arm dumb. We'll say there. And... Oh, actually, how does this work? That is the question. Um, Let me simulate the order. Does stuff take a time to go through it and will this pick it up as soon as it goes on there no we're fine we're fine I was going to see if it um, messed it up but it does not stop right that's fine that's okay um, that's our BLT almost anyway um, that one is to dispense lettuce and that one is to dispense Lettuce there. And tomatoes there. And conveyor belt. That should be about right. Um, this is BLT only. Connections. We want to perform twice for the bread. And once for everything else. And there we go. I'm going to add another, I'm going to move it to there, and I'm going to add another order reader in, just because I think we're trying to make it a bit more efficient in terms of power usage. So all them while orders pending, um, I guess we've got one more space, have we? I wonder if you can connect up another order reader. You can. Uh, right, that's got... That's got... <laughs> yeah. Um, 
that's got problems written all over it, so we're not going to do that. Right, let's just see if this functions. To there. And conveyor belt. Let's test this BLT. Simulate the order. Ah, no, because I'm an idiot. You knew this already. There we go. Um, like that. Right. I guess you can see it performing just once on that order. Yeah. Right. Try that again. I always do. I, I tend to do that quite a lot, actually. Uh, forgetting the, that this does require robotic arms going into it. Yeah, that works. Okay, so that functions. Um, what I'm going to do is add that as a, another blueprint as a BLT. Right, it's not the most space efficient. Far from it. Let's try the beach burger. So, three raw, three cooked patties. Wow, okay. Um, so, this, this is going to come down to saving as much as we can in terms of energy. Um, I'm also probably going to have to save some space. I'm going to rotate these around to there and just, just free up a little bit. I know it's going to take longer for the order, but to be fair, waiting for the grill anyway, so it doesn't matter there. Right, so um, is there any saving we can make in space around there? Probably, but anyway. Um, we could go with two grills and grill the mushrooms on one and the burgers on the other but I don't think we need to um, so for the dispensers we need one two three four I think for the BL no sorry for the beach burger um, yes we'll need a one fryer so far one food processor um, at least one order reader minimum um, robotic arms several of but we'll go for the assembler first like so so we'll set that assembler to make a beach burger um, we'll set this first fryer to be a mushroom, the second one will be to be the raw patty. Um, we're going to move these right back for the time being, so we need to get these fried. So those will go like that, that's fine. Um, and we will say for that um, a conveyor belt and then it'll come off that with a robotic arm dome. And go into there. For the rest of this, we need to have the uh, burger bone as well as the uh, tomato. Tomato will need to be sliced and diced. Um, so that'll have to go back to there. And then it's a conveyor belt. And I'm not too bothered about the uh, delay on this one simply because of. Um, uh, the delay on this bottom line here simply because it's going to take ages for that to fry off anyway so let's uh, add that as a beach burger we're going to add the connection part so we'll say one of those so perform once once we uh, need to dispense that once for the burger bun uh, once for the ah the mushrooms aren't processed i need to sort that out in a second and then for the burger i believe it was do three times Beach burger was, um, yes, three of those are required. So we need to um, slice and dice the mushrooms first. Um, so I guess we could put that there. Conveyor belt can go into there. And then a food processor. Right. Um, I'm also going to add another order reader in. And have a beach burger. And just set all these to um, only do while the order's pending. I mean, is it, is it more efficient? It is actually more efficient, isn't it? Um, the conveyor grill. Ah, oh, right, you can't say do. <laughs> you can't say do. For, so we, we can't say set the grill to grill four items. It can only be turned on or off. Um, we could technically work out the seconds, but um, we don't have time for that. Uh, right. Uh, order, pro, uh, order pending, order pending. Uh, so assemblers all are pending. Uh, that one there uh, is food processor. Uh, orders pending. So is that correct? I think it might be. Um, let me see. Scroll up. 
trying to scroll to see which ones are connected. Uh, they're okay. Right, we are going to... Um, I think we're going to test it. Let's go and do that. And we will say Beach Burger, simulate the order. And we are waiting for that to come along. No bother. It does take a while though, doesn't it? It does take a while. We might have to have some more grills. Let's start and we'll see what we do. So, uh, dishes, we need to deliver uh, 40 dishes in total. We need to use less than 3,500 energy. Um, and our ingredients used uh, has to be under 240. That's the optional ones. Well, the dishes delivered is not an optional. Um, but the power usage, um, you can see it needs to be under 27 and failure. You've used more power than allowed and caused a blackout. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so, operation mode, power saving, operation mode, power saving, and I don't think there's any other modes that I can put on for now, let me just start and see if that helps. Um, it should, it takes longer to process the order, but it will hopefully help us out. I don't know what else I can do. Well, these beach burgers are going to be so late. And failure. Mm -hmm. So, what can we do? How much does the order reader take? 500 watts. Um, I'm not too sure what the solution is currently. There's nothing we can do in terms of setting these up. Let me check the electric grill. Ah, right. The conveyor grill takes a lot of energy. Not worth it. It takes double the amount of energy. For up there with the bacon and that, because you only need... Uh, three items, it's not too bad, but we need four items down here, and you can fit four in a grill. I don't think the conveyor grill really has much of a purpose on this map. Deleting that, deleting that, let's move these further across to there. That one will dispense to the left. We will put a electric grill in here. That one gets changed over to um, we will actually dumb arm there, robotic arm, smart can go there, that one will only pick up... Ah, we need two! So we need mushrooms and the patties. Could we do that with this setup? That one is dispense left, and it is dispensing um, grilled mushrooms. Ah, no. Because that's dispensing straight in, the other ones aren't. Hmm. Those going to go in there. That's going to get picked up, put on the grill. That's going to dispense. Oh, no. We are fine. Yeah, that's what I meant. So that one there. <laughs> that's what I meant. <laughs> Good recovery. Um, that one goes straight like that. Um, and that one goes into there. Then the conveyor belt turns to there. And then we have a dumb robotic arm goes straight in. Okay, that one, select that grill, only one out is pending, and then let's try it, 
it probably still going to blow up. But we'll see. We can only try. The advantage is that we can fry these... Um, we, can, we can grill these burgers a lot faster. Well, we can grill four things at once, you see. That works. <gasps> Did you see that? It went to power usage 26 and... 26 and... 27? No, that, def that definitely went to 27, yeah. Okay, um... So... I don't know whether or not we have to redo the entire thing and use conveyor grills. What we could do is use conveyor grills, grill, and then store, and then then dispense from that. So I have a constant line, or whether we redo that one to use... Um, well, we redo that one to have a grill rather than a well, an electric grill rather than a conveyor grill. It's the consumption, 600 watts versus, um, sorry, 6,000 watts versus um, 3,000 watts. Hmm. So we are going over, and these are on slow more as well, so. I'm trying to think what the solution would be. Would you grill everything on one line? Would you grill everything on one line? Save. That is that one. So I can load it. Let's just try one thing. Reset the level, yes. Because we can always load it. Right. So. Um, conveyor grill. And dispensers. Anything that needs to be grilled will go along here. So it is bread, bacon. <laughs> is this the way to do it? I have no idea. Um, so we'll have bread, bacon, um, burger patty, bread, bacon, cook patty and mushroom. What I'll do then is I'll move that along to there, to there, and there's that with a slice and dice and food processor. Right, so that's going to process the mushrooms, everything else doesn't need to be processed, that's going to slowly grill, and I do stress slowly, um, and then we'll come along here and we need to then move that stuff off, and then build things, so let's assume, let's go for BLT, so we need the toasted bread and the uh, crispy bacon um, so conveyor belt I don't think this is going to work. I don't... <laughs> I don't... I think I'm just going insane here. Um, smart. That one. Straight, straight, fine. Uh, well, not straight. Um, crispy bacon. And... The... Toasted bread slice. Which then moves on to here. We'll go into an assembler. It just feels like I'm massively overcomplicating matters here. That's now got some more space for that big line that we needed. Right, okay. Which will then go 
into here. Well, we need two of these essentially, don't we? So I'll put one there. And I'll put one in... Um, one there. And one there. Smart ones and dumb ones. Like that. And that's set to make a big stacky thing. And that's BLT. So. Like that. And a dumb robot gun into there. Um, for the other two, smart, that one is to take, uh, straight, that's to take that patty, and that's to take those mushrooms. I'm doing this and I just know it's not going to work, so I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty confident it's not going to function as I as as intended. Um, I mean, we'll we'll keep going though. Um, so this is going to take um, the burger patties, the cook patties rather. Yeah, cook patty, and that one's going to take the mushrooms onto here, which will then go into this bottom one. This top one is going to take the uh, the bread and the bacon for the BLT. So what do we need for the BLT? We just need uh, lettuce and the tomato. So we'll have a, um, a dumb robotic arm going straight in there. We just need a conveyor there. And um, we'll have to move these around, but we can do that in a second. Um, actually, no, you know what? We don't need a conveyor there. What we could do is um, have it so we have a food processor, two dispensers that. That can go there. That can dispense the tomato, which will then get processed. And then that can go into there. That's just lettuce. And there's that. Right. So there's that. <laughs> that is... A, that technically should work as a line. Um, lettuce, tomato, getting sliced, and then the stuff that comes along. For the other stuff, we can use this. For the beach burger, we need sliced tomato and a burger bun. We could use that, but I think we're probably going to stick with this. Um... There. Dumb robotic arm. Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt there. Don't need that. Not a grill. Food processor. If this even comes close to working, I'll. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have to worry too much about what happens if this comes close to it. So, for a BLT, we need to dispense one bacon. We need to dispense two bread. We need to dispense one tomato and one lettuce. For the beach burger, we need... Uh, one mushroom, uh, one mushroom, three patties, uh, one of everything else, which I haven't yet set, which is, nope, that can't be the bun, <laughs> that has to be the tomato because we don't want to dice the bun up, and that, we could have Another order reader. Two, two more order readers, actually. And have that as a BLT. Only have these things on. 
only have these pending. I only have them on when the order's pending. Um, that grill's always going to be on. Uh, I think you can only connect it up. I think you can only connect up one thing up to the grill, can't you? Yeah, I think so. Watch this be even more inefficient. It probably could be. It, this could be a complete waste of your and my time. Um, and for that, I apologise immensely. It does feel like I'm going slightly insane trying to do this way. This way. And there's almost certainly going to be some problems in this. Right, let's go. Power usage is already 13,000. So once the rest of the machines turn on, this is just going to blow the grid in one go. And it didn't work. You notice that? See that? It's not quick enough to get them the cook patties. It's technically right, but it's not quick enough. I'll give in. I'll give in for this one. That's been an attempt. <laughs> an attempt at um, this mission. I'm going to have some more players around with this and see if we can get it working. I don't think this is the solution though, but you never know. Um, <laughs> no success, but it's been interesting. So we've got that going for us, which is nice. Um, next episode, I will hopefully have this fixed and we'll see what the next mission brings. As always, if you haven't enjoyed the video, thanks so much for watching. Take care and generic partings.